praise the roll. So, we ended last time with Pyrus and Finbic beginning to chop at the trees that inevitably grew really large at the end of last session, and the rest of the party was approaching uh, the crew on the beach. The, the crew seemed to have been playing some game with dice. Uh, let's jump to the people talk, going to the group. <laughs> so, uh, Pyrus stayed back to do stuff, is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you're just gonna hack at the trees a little bit. So we don't have any of the trees with us? No, because they're about a mile and a half from the ship. Or an hour and a half. An hour and a half oh, from yeah. the ship. Okay. One and a half uh, units of some sort what is from the ship. Right now, so I'm gonna look for Captain Lashir. Lashir. Joe that I'll look. I'll look for him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where's so, the track? Well, track is uh, back at the the inn because you guys left a bunch of people at yeah. the inn. Yeah. So, DV, you're going to go talk to Lashir. Captain Lashir. Captain Lashir. Is that how you pronounce his name? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you guys approach, uh, the sound of dice gets a little bit louder. You can see the four sailors huddled around uh, a little makeshift table sitting in the sand. And they have four cups in front of them. Ah. And they seem to be spewing out random numbers. Karama shoots one of the cups now. <laughs> 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 The captain is among it's it's the four crew members. Oh. Hi, we've found uh, some trees. This is an important moment. I think I'm gonna win. This is the captain. The captain, yeah, the captain. <laughs> and he, he he takes his hands and he looks under the cup and says, five twos. And you can hear an audible moan from the, the dwarf, the talkative dwarf you guys had met earlier, Robert Halpin, he said. Oh, yeah. Captain, you're really good, but I'm better. Six threes. Well, uh, so we have some trees to repair the ship. Yeah. But they're like a little bit back. Yeah. That way. We this, could... this time, talk, take you, the, the elf, he looks at you guys and just... He silent. He makes a motion to like be quiet for That's a second. Some bullshit. This is our way off sixes. this goddamn. Got four sixes. <laughs> and with that, the captain looks over and he's like, "You're not even playing." Yes, I am. <clears throat> this such a joke. So the captain, the captain, the captain, he looks at his men and says, "Okay, okay, guys, let's give them a moment." You mentioned trees. Yeah, we've got your trees. They're about an hour and a half away up the path towards Firelink. Don't we, ask us how we got them that far, but we have whole trees, we can, <laughs> and they're an hour and a half away, and we need some manpower to get them out. We can use some help there. bringing them over here. <laughs> why Why did you leave them there? Uh, we shrank them, and then they enlarged again, unexpectedly. And we yeah. had to leave them there, because they are very large. Them again. That's right. <laughs> well, sounds like I have no choice. Let us just finish up this game. Okay. Sounds like I have no oh. choice but to call seven twos. No. <laughs> <laughs> the captain and the men quickly finish their game. Uh, Robert gets up yelling at the end. He w he lost. The captain rakes in the little bit of silver pieces that were present on the table. The clamshell puts them into his pocket and says, "Okay, lead the way." Great. Let's go. So yeah, we, we, we lead back whoever's able-bodied back to where we left the trees. Yeah, so we get to the, the trees. Way, Adam, I hadn't been casting this guy's self. My plan was about two hours and 45 minutes after they left, I was going to cast this guy's self. Because okay. I know it's an hour and a half there and an hour and a half back. Okay. Yeah. So you're Cerulean. Yes. Okay. yes. So, Pyrus, Cerule Pyrus and quote-unquote Cerulean, what are you guys doing right now? Uh, we've been cutting wood for the past... Um, Three hours. I mean, have, have you actually been chopping at Jeez. some of the logs? It's gonna be hard to chop the tree with clubbing. Man, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for your help, Captain. Four? Four of us. There's four. It's it's Catsby Jones, who's the human missing an eye. He doesn't really talk much. William Le Lacheur, uh, human. <laughs> 
bald head. The sure? The sure. You're, you're a, not there's sure? A, there's a love. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's Takio Hiros. He's an elf. And he's got a trapezoid mustache. Nice. And then there's Robert Halpin, a dwarf with a long, scraggly beard spec with specks of gray throughout. Cool. Like Halpin just sounds like a real person. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I tried to make some of these. No, they're all real person names. They Most of them from Wikipedia. Most <laughs> <laughs> of names. What do you mean? Yeah. 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 I studied Sakyo you can do a random name generator. American history. There's a lot of fun. It. <laughs> anyway. So who wants to go uh, see if Blacksmith Dude has some stuff for cutting and chopping? I'll volunteer. Or oh, yeah. Really we're on a, I'm on a good rapport with him. So yeah. we're, we're... I mean, is there guys... any way that we could just maybe try and cut the, each tree down the middle and then carry each half? How, how, Still how 10,000 pounds. Still 10,000. <laughs> That's a lot. That's, That's a lot of pounds. No, because there's four trees. Yeah. And the big trees were 20,000. These oh, are 10,000. So another would be 5,000. Iris, I say you oh, stay I can, here. I can carry 600 pounds. Yeah, but you can drag a lot more than that. Yeah, what's the friction coefficient? Don't look at me. Yeah, You're the one that <laughs> yeah, I forgot. should know. It's 30 times my strength, right? Oh, no, I can drag 600. Check it out. That's quite the estimate, young dragonborn. <laughs> you seen you seen these guns? <laughs> <laughs> no, I see a club and a sword. <laughs> DB wishes she had guns. Cerulius <laughs> yeah. so slaps the cat. I'm, I'm kidding. Cerulius. Um, so no, Cerulius. So yeah, this is this is quite the predicament. We really thought that they would stay strong until we got down to the ship. Well, clearly that is not the case. Yeah. Um, DV takes Finbic aside. Puts on, like, a Cerulius. Right TV Maybe takes Finbic aside. Cerulius. Yo, I'll try log rolling. Puts a hand on your shoulder. Do not push this. If we cut, image. we have to cut. We have okay. to cut the cut it so it's log. You know just as yeah. well as oh, we yeah, do will, that the loss of this party will member is serious. A log. You're he, a, he volunteers you're not to flesh. Roll. You're not gonna, living. I'm gonna try so and do that. With as him. me, I don't. Okay, care. so I care about. Cerulean. At this point, um, I am Cerulean, so I care too. Who would? Yeah. No, but I'm never be. Tokyo, the the elf with the mustache, says, "You guys are gonna log roll." <laughs> Whew. Well, for an hour and a half. No problem. I'm gonna watch from above you. Yeah, it's probably good a luck. Smart idea. Why would you want to be below us? Okay. So, you guys want to do that? Try it, yeah. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got four this, logs. We're going to do this fast like a quick and spell. Who wants to be the this who is wants incredibly to be on the first disrespectful? Log. Mm. But who I'm wants in? to be on the first log? Me. Okay. Acrobatics check. That is a 22. So two of the sailors give you a hefty push to start with the log. The, mm -hmm. Give the log a hefty push to start, and you just start, you just start casually like sc strolling down this hill with this log underneath your feet. You're like, you can do little tricks. You look <laughs> back, like point back at them, just like yeah, <laughs> and you make it down to the end of the cliff just fine. Okay, who's up next? Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna try and I just want to put I want to be on top of it. I just want to push it down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, strength. So All right, like check. I don't know how long it takes to get down. We're an hour and a half away, so it takes thirty minutes to get to the end of the um, the cliffside path, and then another hour to get to the ship. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. So, Pyrus, you just walk up to this log after Karama has safely made it to the bottom, and you just shove it as hard as you can. And the the log gets crazy amounts of speed, and then there's a few rocks in the path that are a bit, a little bit higher than enough to like sort of provide like a, a ramp of sorts. Oh jeez! And the log hits this, and it just flies into the air like ten feet, and it comes crashing down like twenty thirty feet from where it initially entered the air. And you can hear a big crack, and you can see a large crack has appeared along part of the log. Oh, wow. You're making it easy to cut. Yeah. Okay, there's two more logs. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do what Karama did. Okay, acrobatic uh, check, please. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, it's a 14. Yeah, so 
With the sailors, nice again, push, give you with a starting push. Yeah. And you, you don't have the same sort of balance that Kurama does. And you're, you're more concerned about making yeah, to the crazy. end. You're not going to do anything flashy. Yeah, no. I'm and not about flash. Your feet, at times, oh. think, you think you might fall off, but you catch your balance and ultimately you make it to the bottom. Unscathed. Great. Awesome. Un unscaled. Hey, Scylla, want to ride this one together? Yes, no. absolutely. Okay. Acrobatics checks, please. Seven. Natural one. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> wow. So, <laughs> the sailors give you a hefty push, as they have been for the last two attacks. And what do you guys say to each other as you get onto this log? This is so disrespectful to trees. I'm Cerulius. We should have burned this shit. <laughs> and you guys, you guys see the log starts rolling. And you're looking at each other, you're like, this isn't so bad. <laughs> no, and then things get bad. <laughs> Finbic starts running at a pace faster than Scylla. Scylla, trying to compensate, is tries to run even faster. You guys keep trying to run faster and faster than the other. And eventually, Finbic is sprinting on this log. Scylla, you're stone, you can't keep up. Your stone feet are keeping you down, and you trip. Long and you fall off the log. Damn and it, Finbeck! But at that moment, Finbeck was <laughs> sprinting. Oh no. This you he had been sprinting in such a way that it was balanced because of where you were on the log. Now he's sprinting on just one side of the log. The log begins to turn. Roll another acrobatics check. Seven. So <laughs> take my dice before. Yeah, don't ruin our trees. I can this, I can come back up and do so it. So Finbeck, you try to correct the, the alignment of the log on the path, but it's already too far gone. And you try to run backwards in a naive attempt to slow down the log, and it just doesn't work. You you actually get flung off the log. Another acrobatic check, please. 20. So, you fly off the log. You're, looks like everyone else can see this. It looks like Finbick's about to fall off the side of this cliff. And as you're falling you grab onto a ledge just five feet below the main path, and you're holding on. Okay. So I try to climb up. Okay. Acrobatics check, please. Uh, eight. Yeah, so you're just stuck there. You have you don't have enough. You keep trying to pull yourself up, but you can't manage to get all the way up. You're, you're firmly stuck there just hanging. Can we see him go over the side? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna run after him. <laughs> okay. Does you he still look like Cerulius? Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's right there, right? Yeah, I'm just wondering. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wondering what he's it like looks like. So, Pyrus, you, you get to... Like, all of this didn't break make, that disguise uh, at all, man. No? Roll just a d20, I please. I said anything. Three. So, by the time you get to Finbick, one of his hands is fallen off, and he's hanging on for dear life. His knuckles are turning. They're just pure white at this point, holding on for dear life. Finbick, what do you say up to Pyrus? Help! So how far down is he? He's five feet down. I reach with Clubby, and I say, grab onto Clubby! I take my non -fallen. My hands are so weak right now. I take my non hand, and I like, try and grip Clubby. Okay, uh, athletics check? Athletics? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't... 19. 19? You managed to grab onto Clubby, and Clubby's like, you must love to grab onto shafts. <laughs> this is a firm grip. <laughs> I was about to ask you, Clubby, if he was good and secure, but I think you answered that question for me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, okay. so if he's secure, I'm gonna... We'll talk yeah. later, buddy. Acrobatics but... check. <laughs> Acrobatics? Right. Not right. sorry. That's right. Athletics is what I meant to say. Just to be like... Bruce like, but me strong. Yeah. <laughs> um, 24. Yeah, and you just quickly pull him up with one big heft and How long and is this all long. going? Do I, I'm, this is just like is 30, 30 seconds. If I'm going down to the bottom, though, I went down to the bottom, can I see all the way up the path and everything that's happening? So, mm -hmm. like, I'm, like, walking back up. Okay. Uh, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm just sitting there watching. Yeah, so, Finbeck, you... Pyrus pulls yeah, you up, and now you're laying on your back. Us. Alright, you avoid that second log though, that comes crashing down. Yeah. Not, a, not well, about So, what that. happened to the log? All four <laughs> logs are. Yeah, they all made it? All four logs are made it to the. Yeah, that's what happened to yeah. Scylla? That's incredible. Scylla <laughs> is, is like, is like halfway down the path, just <laughs> like, just looking at 
where you were in astonishment, like, oh shit, I might have killed him. Because she actually Do I can't get see. I'm distracted because I find a flower. Oh, yeah, you're down here with me flower. too, right? I'm yeah, just... yeah, what's up? Yeah. Okay, guys. So you have... Chuckle heads. So, Fimbic, what do you want to say? Thank you, dragon person. I, Cerulius, am so grateful to you. <laughs> no problem, Cerulius. I do like a really obvious wink. <laughs> nice. The captain like, comes like... over and he actually. <laughs> Hold on, you roll this. <laughs> the captain comes over. Yeah, and he just, just like. So, whatever happened to the other two members of your, 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 your party? I already told you they were killed by gargoyles. Gargoyles, ah. The ones that brought us to the island? That's very Wait, unfortunate. No, they were no. different than the what people that They were the same the types island. of ones, weren't they? No, no really. That's what I thought. of stone and gargoyles. Yeah. But weren't the... Wait, then what were we taken by? Not by monsters. I don't know. Oh, I don't know, know if we have the story place. right, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have the I don't the story know. I hit my head something hard in it when I was falling off that log. I assume they come back down the hill, right? Sure, sure. Yeah, what do you guys want to do? You're, you're up on the path right now. I mean, walk back down. Get started on these logs. Yeah, okay. yeah. Let's. So let's everyone gets down to the base of the path, the ship. and now you have a bunch of logs there. So, Captain, I think this is your domain now. We've gotten everything you've asked. We have logs, we have spider silk, and we have a navigator. What, what, what's the next step? What are yeah. we gonna do? Well, Pyrus, you're almost right. <laughs> Except these trees are not where we need them to be. Okay. May. May I suggest we cut them into the dimensions we need and carry them off to the ship? Have yes, you a do that. Sorry? <laughs> All I got is the sword of my fist. Uh, Punch it. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> Punch the log a bunch. Do you, do you happen to know any yeah, if, if they need me, one like, who's split a skilled with their hands? We know two blacksmiths. But I can't do it precisely. Yeah, they're up the road. Well, yeah. I suggest you fetch them. Okay. Okay, uh, DV, let's go. Let's do it. So uh, anyone else want to come with us? To do what? Get the blacksmiths. Um, we start cutting, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna stay there and start cutting. Okay, so me and DV, I guess, are walking back along. Cool. Well, we'll I do guess, it. do I have any purpose? You guys want me, I, I can't really chop shit. Yeah. Come along with those. Yeah, I'll come with you guys. I really like. I um, have. I'm so useless. Karama joins the pack. So I it's ask, just I ask, ask, right? <laughs> ask any of the sailors if they, have, a, um, if they have an axe instead of my great sword. It'd be easier to chop wood with. Uh, um, Catsby, who hasn't talked at this point, up until this point, says, I have an axe in my quarters. Catsby? Catsby. Oh, okay. You mind if I borrow to cut this wood, Catsby? Yes. And he walks off, and uh, he's gonna go get the, feline urine get the axe. Gone. While me and, um, <laughs> while the three of us are walking, I say to DV, DV, don't blow my cover. I need to get on this ship, so he needs to not know I'm me. I realize that. I just want to make sure that you're doing the memory of Cerulius justice. Right, I am playing Cerulius justice. <laughs> <laughs> you say that when we're out of here, John, right? Because we've been out here. In the I wind, 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 wind snaps. It snaps in the wind. Don't push it, that's what I mean. I'm just playing him the way I remember him. So, the three that were going up the path. Yep. You guys make it back to Firelink. Uh, what do you guys want to do? So my disguise has my disguise self has dropped then because it holds for an hour, right? Yes. Okay. All right. We go to uh, Baldwin and Ed, and we're like, "Hey guys, they're together, right?" Yeah, they're they're talking about smithing. Okay. Hey, you guys want to work on a little bit of wood? <laughs> Baldwin looks up at you and says. Not particularly. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Yes. We have, we have some trees down by the ships, and we need to cut them so that we can repair the ship and get off this island. Would you, the skilled blacksmiths who know how to cut and like form things, like to come with us and help us do this quicker so we can get off faster? You sure do like to suck up, gnome. But no, he's, 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 he's got a point. No. Also, he looks like a, um... Drop wood out. Wood no, no, that wore off. That wore off. Uh, okay. Well, it wears, I'm, I like, do like, the agree, though. I'm slowly just, like, dripping <laughs> off. We are the best chance, then. His mascara starts to run. Yeah, do you guys want to get, get the hell off this island? Give us a quick moment. We will collect some supplies. And oh, we will we'll be off. Fantastic. That's great news. Any saws, chisel, like, woodworking devices are very well needed. Yeah. 
Well needed. Get the um, Baldwin tells you just before you leave, though. I think we should speak with Anne. Oh, yeah. She had a shack, as you recall, mm. and she must have built it with some tools. Oh, that's good. Inquire with her. Yeah. Davian yeah. as well. No one builds an inn without tools, I imagine. That's a... That's a good imagination. Good I'll, idea. Take, idea. I'll take Davian. He likes me. You guys go to I'll, Anne. I'll, I'll go to Anne. We'll, we'll pray a little bit and talk about woodworking. So oh, we're yes, for tools. actually, yeah. What? Yes. Yes. Okay, so All right. we'll deal with Davian first. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to go over to Davian and say, hey. So you go over to the I, inn. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. I say, hey, Davian, um, just a quick question. Do you happen to have any tools on you? Well, I've got this pot, and I've got some pan, um, and... Let me rephrase the question. Do you have any cutting tools, like woodworking, something I could use to make a boat? Oh. I have a thing or two. Um, would you be willing to let us borrow it so that we can fix the boat that we've been telling you about down there, and we can all get off this island? We could make a trade. As you know, I like a story, <laughs> and I don't like to do things for free. So if you give me a story that I think is worth the tools you seek, you can be on your way. I will tell you about the deaths of our comrades, Adam and Cerulius. Now, keep in mind, I wasn't here for that part, so this is all secondhand. Mm -hmm. But from <laughs> what I remember hearing, they were in this church... And they found this secret door. And when they opened the secret door, out came three huge stone gargoyles. And they fought tooth and nail and nail and tooth, except some of the tooths and nails were made of stone. But after a long, arduous fight, Cerulius fell, and Adam jumped in front of him. And they were both snatched up, and they flew away. They flew away? What, the game snatched up? I woke up there. Yeah, so no, they flew Davian, away. Davian, Davian... He has, like, a puzzled look on his face at the end of that story. Again, so, this is all secondhand, so it could be wrong. Your comrades, they had flight? Why would they not just leave the island? Look, our wheels were faster. And a uh, large body of water. You can only fly for so long, I assume. <laughs> Your story confuses me. <laughs> hey, it confused me, too. I'm just telling you what I was told. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> such a story is not worth the use of my tools. Okay, what about the story of me versus the Hydra? You've already shared that story before. Not you the part of the waterfall. <laughs> waterfall? <laughs> there was a huge waterfall, and like I said, I was invisible. I tried to climb it, but I was dripping wet. You climbed a waterfall? There was, there was a ladder built into the side of the waterfall. I didn't believe it. I thought maybe I could escape. So I climbed up it, but I was dripping, and I slipped, <laughs> and I was holding on by one hand. And I kicked <laughs> against the rock, and some rocks trickled. And the Hydra got mad, and the Hydra woke up, and it smashed against the wall, its heads going, <laughs> But five of them, so there was like a harmony involved. Um, <laughs> Barbershop. <laughs> Barbershop. <laughs> Quintet. Quintet. <laughs> and they were just screeching and a scratching, and I was grappling by one hand, and then I did this, and I minor illusion, and um, I make a little bunny appear. And... He saw, it saw the bunny, and charged for the bunny, and I grabbed back on the ladder, and I scurried down, because up was not the way to go. Up was not the way to go. Down towards the high, it was the way to go. After, like, 30 seconds of just, like, deep chuckling, Davian calms himself and says, You tell a fine story, Finbic. The tools you seek are just behind me. Ah, oh, thank you very much. I walk Take over them to them please. and I grab them and I say, um, these will all be returned in hopefully the condition they're in now once we're completing the boat. Fantastic. Um, and I walk out and I wait for, um, Karama and DV. So while this was happening, DV, uh, we go up to the shack. Is, any, is anybody in there? Hey, Anne. Yes, hello. Okay. Uh, hey, is it open or can we go inside? Can we can we come in? I've got to talk to you about your your shack yes. and how you made it. <laughs> yes, come in, please. I'm just praying. Great. 
maybe we can pray a little bit together. Um, that sounds fantastic. But first, no, uh, no, you no, no. let's pray. Okay, yeah. What, <laughs> the what, sun is up in the sky. Which God Paylor today? Paylor is looking after us. Oh, Paylor, yeah. Okay. Let us pray. Okie doke. Bring your hands up into the sky. Praise, praise the sun. Oh. Thank you, Paylor. Praise the sun. Give us. <laughs> Ugh, a nice tan. Uh, Skin cancer. I'm glad I can't tan. All right. <laughs> Three or four minutes of that. <laughs> Three or four days. Uh, <laughs> and and concludes the little uh, prayer. Great. It says. So, what do you need? Uh, sweet Anne. <laughs> we oh, we noticed. Oh, robots. <laughs> that. That will not work on me. The <laughs> fine, there's such <laughs> fine craftsmanship <laughs> done on this shack, and we would like to know how did you make this fine All right, I'm gonna cut shack. the BS here. We have a ship. It's damaged. We want to repair to get off this island. Would you like to come with us? How did you build this house? Because we might need tools. You should talk to the other one and tell him how to talk to people. <laughs> Very confusing. But oh. in order to address what you were saying, yes, I did build this, and I built it with my own two hands. As you can see, it's it's not much of a shack. There's, it's just a few pieces of wood hanging you cut the wood with your own two hands, too? I found Nailed this together. wood. It's just pieces of fallen wood from trees. And I'm part saw. I hit, <laughs> I hit, <laughs> I hit <laughs> trees with my mace saw, until actually, it splintered off into the pieces I needed. Oh, yeah. And she points to the various... You can actually see dents in the wood where the mace hit hit the wood originally. So you just hit it with the... Yeah, so you you splintered, one, splintered off these large chunks and branches. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and if, helpful. if that would help, I, I'm more than welcome to offer my services. Together. Um, well, would you like to escape this island? Because that's a standing um, offer. Super strong. Very much, yes. I yeah, so to. you'd probably want to help us out then. Because that all, you know, we all went that. I'm all for that. I am, I am, I am in your service. Great. Word up. We can yes. pray at the beach. I am word down. We can pray. Thank you. What, what shall I call you, young? DV. DV. I think I already told you that, but that's okay. Yeah, you flesh-minded yeah. ones are weak of memory. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let's go. Well, DV, can you, you mentioned praying on, on the beach. Yeah. Can you please bring my... Little shrine to Paylor with you? Oh, certainly. Just, you know, strap it on. I'm a pack mule of sorts, so it's cool. It shouldn't be more than a moment. It actually takes, like, 30 minutes. She takes, like... Yeah. She takes each individual thing off the shrine and make, cleans them off, and then slowly binds a lot of them to your back, and then at the end she hands you her crudely made uh, wooden sun and says, If you lose this... Paylor will smite you. And hands it to you. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Carrying everything for you already. Right. So what is that called that I have on me right now? What can you call that? Let's just call it uh, Wooden Shrine Token. Wooden Shrine times one. Okay. Okay. I have the whole shrine. Nice. Shall we be off? Sure. What tools did I get from Davian? Uh, you got... An axe and a hammer. Okay. Um, how long was I? No, like screw, no, like just tinkery type stuff. Tinkery type stuff. Like, what do you? Remember? Well, how long was I waiting tinkery for this day? This was a month. This was at the same time. Oh, so, but you like, finish your conversation an and then you could come over and see uh, and affixing thing or attaching things to DB. Okay. Hey, we found a use for you. Well, more of a use for you. You're pretty useful. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> um, so are we going to head back now, guys? Oh, most definitely. So you guys are going to head back. So the people that were hanging out with the crew, what were you guys doing? I've been attempting to chop the wood with my centaur sword. And I've been cursing Anne's name, coming up with cruel, cruel things to say to her. Give us some examples. Like man hands and <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The dwarf chuckles at that. He says, call "This one has a sense of humor." Uh, we call her I know that she does have man hands. <laughs> on the walk back, I wanted to ask Andrew about about uh, prophetic dreams. 
prophetic to yeah, okay. she's the only person So, why don't you start that conversation? Um, so, what do you know about dreams? Oh, well, we're listening here, Hunty. I, I this may sound know. obvious, but everyone dreams. What? And dreams can be of a variety of types. Some scary, some not so scary. What about when you see things that are going on around you in the world? You see things that you can't see. Oh. Are you referring to visions? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I only hear this from the higher clerics of my order, but some people are known to get visions from the gods above. We do not know why or how they choose these people, but they, you are not alone. Would you say that Karama Who said, whoa, who said I was getting these visions? Whoa, 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 hold on. So I'm sorry, you just, you asked me about dreams and you seemed very intrigued. I, I'm sorry for making such an assumption. It's okay. It's, it's actually it's me. True. I've been having the dreams. I just don't want to talk about it. Okay, deception check, please. 11. Um, yes, gnome. You are full of shit. <laughs> I can see right through you and your guys. Oh, I like you. I uh, don't like you. Few do. Well. <laughs> but worth it to the brave of you. So uh, Anne looks back and says, Could you tell me about some of these dreams? Well, we were fighting uh, these gargoyles, and I was um, uh, pretty, pretty uh, tired. And then one clocked me, and I was out, and... Uh, Actually, almost died. But while the I was, handbook. While yes. I was, yes. While I was unconscious at death's door, I had these visions. Um, I saw I saw Finbic here, running through the woods. He's actually that's how we found him. See, I was in the dream. Yeah, uh, because I had a vision of specific woods. We're, and we so we went there and we found him and I also saw two of our comrades um, being consumed in flames and we have not heard from them since they did they actually disappeared from the aftermath of the battle they were taken so I I'm not really sure what to make of of all of this but they seem so real these dreams they they do frighten me. That you have. Frighten you? Fuck that, they frighten me! Well. <laughs> I'm the one who has them stuck hmm. in my brain! The worst part is I wake Have up you heard of wet. the <laughs> goddess of fate and destiny? Uh, Are you familiar with her? Uh, Please stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you're giving me a headache. <laughs> is that a no? Really? Yeah, yeah. So, Who's the, that's all you know is a name. Yeah. You don't know much else about the, the goddess. The goddess's name is Istus. I-S-T-U-S. Uh, yeah, Istus, right? There, there yes. was, a, there was a, a... Her symbol was carved into the doorway of um, the orphanage I grew up in. Yes. But didn't really you know, mean a lot to us. Again, this is just from what I heard from the higher clerics, but it seems that Istus will give these visions to chosen people, and they get progressively worse. You you mentioned you saw your friends dying? Progressively worse? I don't like the sound of that. It is said... What does worse mean? 
Am I gonna start? Are they gonna hurt me? Am I gonna support Is he Trump? gonna see how I die? No. Yeah, am I gonna end up as a Trump supporter? <laughs> 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 That's a fate worse than death. Speaking of which, we better get these trees on so we should be trunk supporters. Hey. Oh my god. <sighs> boom, boom, boom. Oh, nice. oh, quick. Hey, your viewer is expanding. It's branching out to new genres. Oh, Jesus. Oh, geez. This is gonna be a session. Uh, leave it to me to make a good pun. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and I'm barking with laughter. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I know. Like they're bad puns. They're, they're the roots of all my jokes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wouldn't you now. please stop? <laughs> so Anne says, "No harm, direct harm, should befall on you from these visions, but maybe you will see terrible things in the future. Things that no regular person would love to see." You will see your well, friends dying, the land being destroyed. Well, but is that actually happening? That is all yeah. I know. Gosh, I'm glad I'm not a regular person. That's like person. a lot to know. How would you know that specific fact? <laughs> yeah. the, the, the Order of Paylor collects a lot of information from around the land. and Many come to our churches to talk to our priests about these terrible dreams, thinking they are just dreams. We have enough information to know that this is no coincidence. Yeah, good story. Well, um, that was not remotely comforting. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, let's get back to uh, the, the tree people. <laughs> the tree people. Okay, we're gonna. So you guys are coming down the path. Yeah, I was gonna say in their oh, entire. Oh, when, like, <laughs> when we get close to there, I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back to the table. So, while you guys are coming back. Oh my god! Wait. Two. Actually? So you guys are. So Pyrus and Sola, you guys have been chopping away with the the crew, and at one point you notice the both of you notice two people walking from down beach. What are they? What are they? What are they? I'm not a person. Just let you know. Yeah. Come on. It's hard to make out their appearance from this far away, but you can definitely see two figures approaching. Oh, man. Give me the sun succubus, paylor, pimp. Stop using alliteration. No, fuck you! I hate this bitch! Whoa. I, um, I'd like give like a little, like, <laughs> I, I say like loudly enough for everyone around me to hear, but not loud enough for them approach the people approaching to hear. Just like, hey, there's there's people. Just be be aware. Be on your guard. They don't see anything. <laughs> right yeah. I point back at Catsby. <laughs> Catsby. Catsby yeah, looks at you and says, uh, "Pointing. I don't know. Should we prepare for combat? Mm. Be on your guard. One but don't, don't but don't but don't look threatening. We don't want to start something that doesn't need to happen." One looks incredibly the, physically frail. The dwarf, the dwarf at your <laughs> comment <laughs> says, like, he's missing an eye. He looks pretty damn threatening already. Come on, man. He's perfect. He's perfectly nice. That's a bad assumption to make. You're not wrong. So, about 20 minutes pass, and the two figures are now in uh, talking distance. Damn, we walk really slowly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long walk on the beach. Stop. Identify yourselves. Uh, how? <laughs> what? How do you want us to identify ourselves? Names would be nice. Like I think I'm a Sagittarius. Halpin, the the dwarf is like these 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 people coming are pretty stupid. They don't know how to identify themselves. Do you have like, food? No. Does it so, look yeah, like we have food? food? Burn them. Burn them now. So, <laughs> chill. <laughs> the chill. captain, captain says, "Why should we burn them?" Wait, captain, captain, this your ship? It's fun? captain it, it's me. It's in. And then the captain rubs his eyes, gives like a really long stare. Id, I thought you were gone at sea. Yeah. How? Same. How are you? How are you, <laughs> how are you still alive? To be honest, I don't know. I was just, I kind of like woke up, and then I saw this guy, and I thought, I was dead. And I realized, <laughs> I'm not. 
So why don't, just for sake of the party, describe your appearance. Um, I am about 5'7". I weigh just a little over 100 pounds. I ha- I'm incredibly scrawny. Uh, I have very dark tan skin. My eyes are a bright orange, and I have long, tawny, like, sickly yellow hair. What's your race? Half-elf. I'm also a half-elf. And, uh... Uh, just tattered clothing. I got a staff on me. I, I don't even have, yeah, I don't have armor or weapons. I just, yeah, I just, and a backpack. Black hair. Yeah. You I can clothes. tell I'm too weak to carry weapons I'm also or pretty armor. skinny, about the same height as Master Julius is. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they don't seem very threatening, and the captain seems to yeah. know one of them, so I, like, put yeah, so like, I'm, like, not, I, like, relax. I look very weak and un- un- unassuming. <laughs> William, William speaks up and says, I can definitely vouch for it. He, he was on my ship for a few weeks. Yeah, it was the medic for... So then who's this other one? Who are you? I'm Thurgood. Thurgood? <laughs> no, there's no O, oh, it's just Thurgood. Thurgood? Yeah. Thurgood. Yeah. I can vouch for him. He, Thurgood. He saved my life. As you can tell, I'm not the best fighter, and we happened to run across a basilisk uh, over the past three days. And A basilisk, the captain says. He looks over to Scylla and Pyrus. You, you guys... You fought Basili recently, <laughs> did you not? Is that the plural? Shut up, that's not important. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna worry about this. This is what I wanna worry about. You worried about us? You know what? Yes, we were. They care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were, yeah. They're they're dangerous creatures. And you you defeated it you defeated we the basilisk. Defeated final. the basilisk. We managed to it's They're good. Huh. What's how? How did you defeat such a creature? With magic? Magic. Luckily, he's a very strong spellcaster, so I simply managed to keep him alive and heal the two of us while he... Alright, when I say magic, a gust of wind comes up. Everyone make a strict saving throw. Oh my god. No, I'm not gonna actually... Actually, I'll, I, I, will, <laughs> I will blow away. <laughs> Just like paper. Nothing really happens, they just get pushed five feet. Like, like it paper, really it flo- flies away <laughs> off. Just, just a heavy gust comes in. Dude, no. A little, that little, like, uh, well, uh, Robert... Robert says, Well, I'm convinced. I saw. I felt that gust of wind. That was yeah. some strong stuff. The gust of wind is improved, guys. I don't know what it is. Oh, I thought it was the dragonborn, and this is awful. My hands can glow white because I heal. Look at that. Mm. That's so, improving myself. So, but no. it. Oh, so you fought a basilisk? Do you know maybe the cure for any of its, you know, attacks? I mean, I am a cleric, so... Things. At this point, you, you notice stone. the stone feet on Scylla. Mm-hmm. We, oh. I have a problem. <laughs> oh my god, your feet are stone. <laughs> yeah. That, that must be really trying. It is. That must be terrible. It is. So tell me, how did you kill it? Do you have its body parts? Do you want to eat them? It's kind of burned. Yeah. Wow. Thanks a lot. You know how. I didn't know anyone would want, like, burned. I could try to look at your feet and see if I could (laughs) ease your suffering. So there's stone. There's no suffering going on. So the no, captain it? he looks You're over at Third Good and says, "So I know how Id made it here. He was on my ship. What brought you here? I was on the ship myself. And what was the name of the vessel?" <laughs> He was yeah, knocked very hard on his head when he came. I, I can't remember. It's just so, it feels like such a long time ago. I was shipwrecked. But I trust him. He's a, a very reliable sailor. Shipwrecked. What, Apparently, um, what, hap- what, what happened I was to your ship? On a, that's a great question. I heard a large cracking sound at one point when I was asleep. I ran up to the top of the deck, and there's a huge hole in the side. And it quickly, the foot snapped, and I was thrown off, and I woke up on a beach with it. And... Your crew, the rest of your crew. I what happened? That is tragic. I, I under, I can, I understand. Yeah. You told me there was a boat. I, I sympathize sail. with you. 
I know what a sailor. You you are a sailor. Wow. Yeah, I love the boat. That is quite I'm fortunate. Part of the we have the crew. That's what we call it. It's much more of a sailor than I am. <laughs> we have the crew. It's not much, not much to you really know. <laughs> <laughs> we have many greenhorns with us on this upcoming trip, and every every sailor we get is a welcome addition. Maybe red. Yeah. No, Druish. Druish. Druish princess. Funny. She doesn't look Druish. So. Are you guys done conversing, or do you guys want to keep talking? Like, so, so, in Thurgood, do you know anything about chopping wood? I know it can be done. Tell, but no. I show my guns, nice and bony. <laughs> I show him my guns, <laughs> just a little bit more bony. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're no help for this. I can't even just carry it. I, uh, I take out a dagger, and I'm like, I got this. I don't think it'll be very helpful. I take out a holy cross. This is this is all I have. <laughs> Robert just is, just shakes his head and he's like, "Looks like we got another two useless." Oh, right. we got some dead so, weight you, right you, now. Do you think that their magic weight? could help with this? But I'm looking around and I, this is I see this is what magic gets here. you. It gets you people that can apparently fight, but when it comes to actual worth, they can't do shit. Jeez. He's really just an asshole. Well. At least I am assisting in repairing the ship, Robert says. And then with oh, that remark, sure. he I goes back to I cured you from your pneumonia when you were sick on the ship. Id, you're different. You healed me in times of need. You're I'm okay with you. That's what he needs you for. <clears throat> so you're all good. You are exempted from cutting wood. This is a task above you. <laughs> the medic monkey. She's not uh, worthy enough to chop the wood. Shaw. So you guys are just going to be chopping wood for a while, Assholes. and eventually the rest of the party comes down from the path. Hey guys, um, uh, Pyrus here, and I give him the axe I got from um, Davian. Oh, that's really nice, but I already have an axe. You might want to give that to someone who needs it. Oh, hey, Scylla, do I want... Do I want to give you an axe? Yes, of course you want to give us an axe. get hurt? Just the trees. <clears throat> well, actually, I don't know. Who are you? I was waiting for you. Hi, I'm Cerulius. The captain comes up and says, I want that axe. Here you go. DV, Karama, Cerulius. The two, the, the two new additions you see, id. Cleric you on must, my ship. You must know everything about your class. <laughs> Previously, we thought it was dead, and this is Thurgood. Uh, was recently traveling with Id. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. My name is Cerulius. I'm a shaman. Yeah, hey. Where's your spirit animal? Um, right here. Minor illusion of Mikhail next to me. He's so cute. <laughs> and functional. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, the but captain I don't like says, for too long. I just can, can it do any tricks? No, he's, like, I'm still training him, and I don't like having him out for too long, and I snap my fingers and dispel him. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you both. I'm a D-Tech unit, model T1V. You can call me DV. Always good to see more helpful hands. And I set down the little wooden shrine that I've been carrying, and just, like, leave it sand, like, in the beach. Just and like, says, not there, DV. On the ship. <laughs> well... <laughs> uh, you can see the ship. I gotta, I gotta start helping. Did see anyone ya. hear Who are you? It sounded like bitch. I heard witch. Witch? Is there a witch here? I heard Who, are these? Who are these people? Switchy. Who are Maybe other Russians. That was meta. Why did you IRL? I mean IFL and fake life. I D N D. Shop. Okay, guys. Shop. First Who are they? I asked. My name's Id. I, I'm a shipmate. Well, for the time being, I guess. I'm not really a shipmate, but I'm with the ship. Really... We're here to repair yeah. this vessel. How can you help? Yeah. I can heal all of you. I can nice. If we get splinters, that'll yeah. help. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Like, this That's is good to hear. It's good to hear. Do you get splinters being metallic? Uh, I don't really know. That's okay. But Robert I speaks up and says, how do you not know if you can get splinters? Sake, you think I you would have you touched some wood in your day. Well, I don't I don't really have flesh, so there you go. Does that mean you can't feel Is pain? he always this observational? Sure. Oh, yes. What? He's... 
She's a we're planning tech on, unit. Yes, DD, you do not have flesh. That is correct. Yeah. She's. We're planning on us uh, sending her back in, getting a new model. But I can get cut all the same. Or get back with me. <laughs> Either <laughs> that or getting an update. My, but you my skin don't feel skinny, pain. But my soul is. Sure, I do. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Anyway, uh, back to repairing the so, ship. So, what do you guys do? I'm a sailor. Exclusive. Sailors. You I, heal exclusively. I just, I just travel around with different adventurers. I, he's very whimsical in that regard. Does he heal exclusively? Is that not deception in any way? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you, what are you, you say specifically? You're a healer. Roll insight healer. check on that. You say you, you, you don't get to choose to. No, yeah. you you don't get. Can I, I, I can I look said, into I him and know what he's talking about? Can I he try said, to know? He said. I am a he. He heals. What, what was the exact word? It's alright. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's it's not worry. About I'm just trying. So you're a healer. I am a healer. Yes, I'm a cleric. I'm not too adept in cleridity, but definitely. <laughs> what? Sorry, we can. So can I can yeah, I look into him and better. like notice what he's saying and try to figure out if he's telling the truth? Sure. Roll a d20. Yep. Insight. Yeah, so I am rolling an insight check. Yes. This is true. This is true. Cool. It's oh. a natural oh. 20. DV, with all of your prowess and your uh, observational abilities. Understanding of flesh culture. And understanding flesh culture. Cl culture and tongue. You believe them. Great. Cool. I'm a human. Welcome almost aboard. Almost aboard. <laughs> If anything, I should be welcoming all of you. Right. Cool. Well, thank you. We could use another healer. Our uh, last another. time. Too. Yeah, well, we lost some... some. We lost a good healer, and we lost an okay healer. So the captain we says, we should get yeah, back to work now. That's not a good healer. Might have still had a lot of blue on him, right? <laughs> you know, a lot of party gold. That master guys. actually took something from me right before he died. We lost a good healer, and we lost an okay gnome. So oh, who are you? Identify yourself. I know. I'm, 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 I'm Thurgood, there's... the sailor. No, I'm yeah. disguised as a sailor. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, so you were with this guy. No. Oh, my God. Okay. I look like a short one. Oh, so I just met him. So, I was shipwrecked. Ceruleus, as you were whispering that over to Id, the captain. No, I didn't whisper that to him. I was whispering. Sorry, I heard that. As you whisper it, no, I heard that. We asked I heard that. The Sorry, man. We said. We no, said he that. was saying our character. He was saying meta to be. Okay. You're a gnome, but in okay. the real life, I was. I'm a. No meta something. today, guys. Please. Anything I hear, I will take as word, and there will be consequences. Okay. Cool. We'll just make sure he understands. That's your freebie. You in -game. There is your freebie. Okay. Okay. So, the captain says, enough. Dilly dallying. Let's get back to chopping some wood. What do you think I've yeah. been doing this entire time? Pyrus, <laughs> yeah. I'm not talking to you. I would have you on chop, my crew chop, any chop, day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm Pyrus, by the way. I don't think I don't think I introduced myself. Pyrus Claw. Oh, I didn't introduce Relation myself. relation to the dragon, yes, if that Wait. was your question. Thanks <laughs> <laughs> for answering it. Wait, what? <laughs> you wanna elaborate on that? <laughs> my my last name. Comes from my slave master, well, former slave master, Cloth the Red Dragon. His name is Cloth. Cloth the Red and Dragon. you were a slave. Yeah. Can we go through this one? Yeah. No. I don't know. I'm so sorry. This for no. Oh. That well, must that's, have been very hard. That's what happened. My entire adolescence was spent as a slave. I escaped only seven years ago. You were a little wow. dragon, like. Well, actually, <laughs> Dragon, <laughs> Dragonborn only stay children for about three years. I was fully grown three at three years old. Three years. Three years. <laughs> <laughs> Scylla, you're you're weirding me out. I'm gonna keep chopping. Catsby, <laughs> Catsby starts eyeing Scylla, and then whoever's closest, I'm gonna just say it's really arbitrarily. Speaking of arbitrarily, she's kind of creepy. <laughs> You get used to it. <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> just, <laughs> just make sure she doesn't have any access to fire and we're fine. I will I will keep track of that. Does anyone have any available axes? I have the axe. Are um, you the axe? Adam, would I be at all effective at cutting anything? What's your strength? Ten. No. Mine That's why I have an upgrade. Eleven. So most of the crew, right? We're gonna get Yeah, you'd be useful. Okay. I'll make myself sailors. useful. I literally think, uh, like, would Cerulius be useful? I add no benefits. My strength is right? thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm gonna I'm help. Like middle of the okay, so like, yeah, I know. Because we came in and lowered the average. I still have my strength. I feel better. Ten. 
Okay. Both have so, <laughs> after a couple oh, hours of yeah. chopping, you guys managed to get all the wood into manageable size pieces. Ooh. Captain, okay. you see you see what's here? Wood. What's, yeah, what, 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 what do you want to do with it? Bring it to the ship. Oh yeah, we're going to the ship. Maybe you should go the ship. You're not the smartest oh, bunch of people, are you? <laughs> How long did it take for us to cut this stuff? Five hours. Okay. At um one point near the beginning, every hour I go into um I would say like I gotta go pee and I go pee and I disguise self back in. Okay. And on the last one one second, there's gonna be rolls. Okay. Rolls to see if carry it. And on like the last one before my final um Disguise self spell wears off. I just um on the second to last one actually oh boy. Two of the sailors say you know what I also need to go pee Let us join you. Okay. Um, I actually feel really uncomfortable peeing around other people because why? Have, why would you feel uncomfortable? It's just have, two sailors and uh, I have both sets of genitals. I really don't like. Never <laughs> <laughs> fat. Yo, deception. <laughs> yeah, deception. I get advantage. Of it. Yeah. Of course, you roll one dice for your plea. Uh, twenty six. <laughs> <laughs> so the two people that were going with you were Takio with the elf and uh, Robert the dwarf. The dwarf. Just, just, just like, I don't want to see that. <laughs> and he just turns around. Takio, he, 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 he stays there for a moment. Thinks he's I like, interject, I go, respect his privacy. And, and with that, Takio, he, he's just like, I don't want to see that either. <laughs> and he follows Robert off, and they go and piss I, off the cliff. I, uh, shoot. You my ninja. You pee in peace. <laughs> Okay, no, then. Kind of and on the... <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, but eventually I run out of spells, so, like, right before my last one wears off, I'm gonna say, Guys, wait! I forgot something really important. I need to go back to Firewick. Um, I'll see you guys... Firewick? Fire... Fire... Fire I don't remember the name. It's Fireplace. been a really long day. Um, and with that, Robert just shakes his head again. He's like, The more I'm around you, the more I realize I'm around a bunch of idiots. Like, <laughs> And I leave and I go back to Firewick. Firemount. Fireling? Fireling! <laughs> and then right. Robert says... It's called Fire Link with a K. <laughs> and then he spits at you. Thank you. And I leave. Mom, these sailors like to spit at people. Yeah, they're kind of dicks. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, so I've had pneumonia, so good lungs are very important. Just walk in fire yourself. I guess you would know. Okay. <laughs> What's the rest of the party more That's Bring the wood to the ship. No. Yeah. Couldn't heal that? I'm going to shoot to be built. Chop, 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 guys. Chop. I never just made that joke, no one noticed it. I would not feel the confidence. It's like chop chop, Dragonborn. Haha, get chop chop. No one noticed when I first said that. Okay, so, after an hour, after an hour you guys managed to get all of the wood to the ship. And the captain says, well, thank you guys, you brought the silk, you brought the wood, you brought... Well, navig you mentioned a navigator. So, he's still at fire. Excuse me? No, oh, I thought yes. we brought him with- we brought him with us that first time. We got that- Well, yeah. he went- he wandered back. Oh, okay. I can navigate. I- I think all that's left to do is build- You can navigate? Repair the ship, build any necessary items, crew? objects that we need what for what what the, what the voyage. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Here, you guys Let's talk for a little bit. I need to pee. Dragged up. I'll join you. So, <laughs> Pyrus looks like he knows what he's doing, so I'm just map, helping you out with whatever you're doing. The... Building? I don't know how to build a ship. Where do you travel from? I need, I need directions from the sailors. I mean, I got the strength to do it, but I don't know. Alright, so and, uh, we're gonna I was thinking, and then I woke up, there's like listen to Thurgood. I don't know if I want you on our ship, you see. I'm, not, don't you? I'm the best guy you Waking ship. up, everybody's dead. I'm kind of excited. I've never been on a ship before. I can help control the weather. Long time ago. The ship in the right direction. Why really? Did you do that for yeah. The other ship? I was what? Uh, fighting pirates, actually. What? You guys know Goliath, what? Lord uh, Feralk? 
I don't know. Not really, no. dude. Most of my pirate most lord. Of my knowledge is pretty pirate specific lord? to yeah. Riverside. He was a he was a pirate lord, and uh, he jumped the ship I was on and uh, I killed him. You killed him? Led a mutiny of his men. It was pretty cool. You Just, did? Um, Wait, so you were a member of his crew? Okay, so <laughs> that's what you're saying. How many insight checks? So I got <laughs> yeah. I got onto a ship, and then the ship was attacked, and then. I helped these guys do a mutiny against his against the ca uh, the captain. What, they were invading your ship. And you went, wait, guys, that don't invade us. Let's just mutiny. Unlawful. It looks like these folks were uh, were actually good in heart, and uh, they changed their ways after they saw the the help I brought them. So I want an inside check. It's yeah. a strange story. It's a strange, strange story. story. So like one I can't really imagine DV being a part of. Yeah. Um, Can, are you convincing a group uh, of people to do something against uh, their nature? Or, or yeah, I was attacked. I did one on one, toe to toe with this guy. <laughs> and then the rest of the crew was like, "Oh, we should actually, you know, fight back against the tyranny of our pirate leader." But it's a bizarre. Uh, a, I don't, don't understand anything. Wait, about wait, 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 wait. Cult, so you let it? Get wait. It. So you your ship was work. taken over. By these pirates, yeah, and then you led a mutiny of Against, the pirates, yeah, yeah, of the victorious pirates. No one was really victorious. I mean, it was an empty ship apart from me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, what? You were? Why were you? What were you doing? Was it like a small? I found it. I don't know. In the ocean? What were you doing? You can try. Hell if I know. <laughs> you can sail a ship? No, I cannot. Wait, you don't? Why are you on a ship by yourself? Ship? I'm just as flabbergasted, right? Flabberg yeah, flab yeah, yeah, yeah. As you guys are. Yeah. Wait, so what happened? So I found, I <laughs> found a ship. Wait, you're like, let's get on it? this. I do not know. You what? Do you just, like, you're on a ship? Yes. I found a ship and got on, and then I was attacked by Pirate Lord so Feralk. Killed him in cold blood. His crew was like, oh, thank God, he's gone. And then I chilled with them, and we sailed back to land. And that's all Didn't I did. Yeah, that's the story. The I was no, I was no king. Queen? Queen. Queen. But it was clear that their their underlying motivations were were good, and and that they didn't want to be with this guy anymore. So I think I, I think I freed them. Throughout this entire story, just it seemed like DV was confused herself and bits and pieces of this story there's like pieces missing yeah no clearly <laughs> and you guys are able to understand that this isn't the full this isn't the full story yeah no, do you think you're feeling that. okay i feel great <laughs> so just to just to <laughs> remind well, you guys getting some background guys <laughs> just to remind you guys dv does not look great completely battered. Do you want to just describe what your appearance looks like right now, DB? Oh, yeah. Well, I took a magic missile to the face, so <laughs> my, like, facial visage has a large scorch mark around the Triskelion. How did it feel? Oh, Don't I, the lights blink now? I died. Or almost. <laughs> <laughs> and, then I, and then I fell two more times against gargoyle attacks with their axes, so I've got some, like, cuts you and things. Do you need the tool, any of the tools we have to, to, to chop uh, yeah, trees, you know, I, mend yourself? I think we have larger concerns for the moment. I'm, I'm chugging along. Alright, uh, what do we got? We gotta, we gotta yeah. repair some stuff. Yeah. Like, any so, the captain at this, after hearing this story, and giving everyone a little bit of time to, like, collect themselves and finish their conversation, finds a lull. <laughs> in amongst the chaos of this group and says so we need more people than what's present here to fix the ship otherwise it'll take us far too long i suggest we round up everyone that we can and ha put everyone to work fair enough we have some people back at firelink who sick. probably want to you want the rogues to sprint back I, I suppose this, not to rush Expected per se, again. but if you're willing to sprint, I'm willing to Oof. let that happen. I hope you have a good story for that Serpent Helm guy, if, if we're gonna bring him. Mm, how about he can tell me a story about how he wants to get out of here? Oh, <laughs> nice one. 
the old reverse. <laughs> the old reverse. How about he can tell me a story every night he wants to stay on the ship? <laughs> All right. Yeah. D and D didgeridoo. D and D and D and D. Nice. Okay, so who's gonna go back to Firelink to grab people? I'm curious. I sure. See these people. Uh, I, I mean, we, three of us travel the fast. The stone feet? I no. Uh, well, actually, my speed's just up to normal now. You have 30? Yeah, but 35? I do have, like, this is 25. 25, but she can go 75 feet mm -hmm. in a round. You can go, you have 35? Yes. You can go I'm excited 105 in a round, and I can only go, like, Creeper. 90 in a round, unless I want to spend key points. Okay, so, you guys are going to head off? Sure. Uh, while the, slowest. The, the three party members are going up to grab people, you guys can start to explore the ship. Um, wow, the ship. What did I do this morning, guys? Oh my god! Yeah. I spent a lot of time this morning. Yes. Oh. That's why. Yeah. Oh. We're so. Oh man, I wish I wasn't so. I didn't have to be so careful right now. I know how to steal from Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. 80% Reddit, 20% me. But, um, yeah, so you guys can begin exploring the ship. Just a little bit of, to really explain a bit of the details. So which one's the bottom level? This is the top level on my, closest to me. Uh, the red signifies an entrance to another room. That wants to steer. Yeah, but where's the fucked up part of the major room? That, there's a hole in the bottom, so this is where all the goods are kept. So there's a big hole down here. Oh good, there's a jail. I didn't draw the hole, it? but it's over there. Right, right there. Right. 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 So there's uh, a crow's nest right here. There's a little a little red to signify that. Uh, the captain court captain's quarters are here. Drawn there. Over here, uh, there's the, the like the special the so they're a trade ship, right? So they have goods that are more valuable and they're kept in a locked up room over here. Mm -hmm. Various goods strewn about. The staircase to the second floor is right there. And here's the second floor. Uh, all of these are hammocks uh, attached to the rafters. You have the mess hall through this door. Uh, that's the, you can open that up to get access from the top to the middle, to the bottom. Uh. Uh, staircase. So this staircase leads to this this one, and then this staircase down to there. Uh, there's a table down there. It looks and there's like cards and dice strewn about on the table. Uh, there's a little bit of a jail, and then these are just various boxes and barrels and various goods. A brig. Word. So we, if we're exploring them, we're gonna come up. Here, right? Yeah, coming through the hole. Yeah, they're coming through the hole. For let's for 